Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Faraz Ahmad. You people must be knowing that the currency of the Kuwait is strongest currency in the world and it is a tax-free country. Pakistani doctors and nurses were banned to work in the Kuwait. In the recent past, this ban was ended and after this, almost 5,000 of doctors and nurses moved to the Kuwait to work over there. So in this video, we are going to talk about that how you can go to Kuwait and you can work over there. We will talk about the Kuwait medical licensing exam. We will talk about the pattern of this exam. We will talk about the eligibility. We will talk about the validity. We will talk about the application process for the registration after passing of this exam. Then we will talk about the jobs and the salaries of the doctors in this video. So let's start this video now. So you people must be knowing that like the UAE, Kuwait is also divided into five administrative regions. You can say it is divided into five administrative provinces as well. So in all of these areas, there are the private set up hospitals and the government set up hospitals as well. So if you want to work over there, either in the private setup or in the government setup, you have to ensure minimum professional standards. And these standards are ensured when you appear in the Kuwait medical licensing exam. So if you are a non-Kuwait medical graduate, like you are from any of the country apart from the Kuwait, so this exam is mandatory for you. You have to appear in this exam. Let's talk about the pattern of the Kuwait medical licensing exam. The beautiful thing regarding this exam is that, that this is only a written exam. There is no practical in this exam, like the PLAB, like AMC, like other, you know, uh, licensing exam of the other countries there is no practical exam in the uh, me Kuwait medical licensing exam so you have to appear in two papers like this exam is one exam but you have to appear in two paper on the same day there will be a one to two hour gap between these two papers and you have to give both papers on the same day and please keep in mind the mode of the exam the language of the exam is English so let's talk about the paper one so, paper 1 is basically an MCQs based paper. There will be the 100 MCQs and each MCQs will contain only one mark. Like 100 MCQs and 100 marks and you have to complete these 100 MCQs in 2.5 hours. And apart from that, the important thing is that there is no negative marking in these MCQs exam. And apart from that, if you are going to get 60% of the marks from the 100 MCQs, like if you are going to get 60 marks, you are pass. So to pass this exam, you have to get what? You have to get 60 marks out of 100. So let's talk about the syllabus of the paper one. So as I mentioned, there are 100 MCQs and these 100 MCQs will be from the four subjects. 25 MCQs will be from medicine. 25 MCQs will be from the surgery, 25 MCQs will be from the gynae and ops and 25 MCQs will be from the pediatrics. So in this way, from the four subjects, you will have 100 MCQs and from these 100 MCQs, you have to pass 60 MCQs to be successful in this exam. All right. So after the first paper, there will be two or the three hour gap and then you have to appear in the paper two. So paper two will have the clinical problem solving 40 questions and you have to solve these 40 questions in 2.5 hours again. And please keep in mind like 10 questions will be from medicine, 10 will be from peds, 10 will be from surgery and 10 will be from the ops and gynae. Please keep in mind that these questions will be clinical problem solving question and each question will again have the five options and out of these five options there may be two or three true options and two or three false options. So what you have to do like you have to explain the true options that how these options are true and you have to explain that how these options are wrong. So this is very tricky part like 40 questions in 2.5 hours, 200 marks for these 40 questions and there will be the five option of the each question and you have to you know explain why this option is true and why this option is false. So like you have done with the paper one and paper two of the Kuwait medical licensing exam. Now you have to wait for the two weeks and after two weeks your result will be announced. And if you are going to get 60% marks in both of these papers, it's mean that you are passed.
So let's talk about the validity of this result. The result of the Kuwait medical licensing exam is valid for the five years. Like if you have passed this exam within the five years, you can apply for the registration and you can go for the job in the Kuwait. So now you have passed the exam and after passing the exam, you have to apply for the registration. As I mentioned that you can work in the private setup or the government setup after having the registration. So the registration process for the private setup and the government setup is separate. And the fee is also different for the private and the government setup. Like if you are going to apply for the government setup, you have to pay the fee 20 Kuwaiti dinar. And if you are going to apply for the private setup, the fee of the private setup is 50 Kuwaiti dinar. So after passing this exam, now you are going to apply for the you know, registration process. So all the process is online. You will visit the website. I have given the link in the description. You can use that link as well. And you will fill an online application. After filling the online application, you will attach the required documents. All the required documents list is given in this link as well. So after some time, you will receive a professional license number. So when you will receive this professional license number, it means that now you are registered with Kuwait Medical Licensing Authority. So once you are registered with Kuwait Medical Licensing Authority, now you are eligible for the job. So this is the biggest eligibility factor to apply for the jobs in the Kuwait. So let's talk about the what are the eligibility points to apply for the job. So the number one and the biggest eligibility point which I have just mentioned is your professional license number. And number two is that that your scientific certificate must be approved by the Ministry of Higher Education. Like you have passed the you know Kuwait medical licensing exam and your certificate of this exam must be approved by the Ministry of the Higher Education of Kuwait. So after this if you are a non-Kuwait doctor you must have passed the interview. Like you are going to start a job in a private setup hospital. So you must have passed the interview from that hospital as well. So these three are the criteria to apply for the job. So let's talk about the salaries of the doctor in the Kuwait. So how much you can earn a month uh, while you are working as a doctor in the Kuwait. So like if you have passed the Kuwait medical licensing exam and you have done the MBBS degree in your home country. Now you are going to start the job as a general practitioner in the Kuwait so let's talk about that how much money you can earn a month so you must be knowing that Kuwaiti dinar the Kuwait currency is the strongest currency of the world and the currently it is like one Kuwaiti dinar is equal to almost more than 800 Pakistani rupees so if you have secured a job in the Kuwait after passing the Kuwait medical licensing exam, the minimum minimum you are going to get the 1500 Kuwaiti dinar per month. You can multiply the 1500 Kuwaiti dinar with the 800. So when you will multiply 1500 with the 800, you will get a very big value. And this is the amount in the Pakistani rupees which you are going to earn while you will be working in Kuwait. And please keep in mind there is no tax on this pay. And apart from that, while you will be working in the Kuwait, there will be free food and there will be the free residence as well. So please keep in mind that if your pay is 1500, there will be the no expenses on food, no expenses on the residence. And once a year, you will get an air ticket as well to visit your home country. So at least, at least you can save easily 1200 to 1300 Kuwaiti dinar per month. So this is a very big amount. So if you are a specialist and you want to work in the Kuwait, so you can earn 2500 to 2800 Kuwaiti dinar a month. And please keep in mind the biggest demanding specialty in the Kuwait is pathology. If you are a pathologist, you can easily get a job in the Kuwait and your salary will be more than the consultant of a medicine. So that's all regarding the Kuwait medical licensing exam. If you have any question, you can follow me on the Instagram. You can directly message me or you can directly ask me in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching the video.